Few people know that, before their current popularity, these actors had to suffer much criticism because of their allegedly unattractive appearance. However, now that they are all very successful with their acting careers, I bet many who once criticized them would regret what they did. So here are four actors who got bashed for being ugly, but are now extremely popular. Number 1. Ru jun -yol. Ru jun -yol's case is considered a unique one in the Korean entertainment industry, since he debuted at a later age than his peers. At the age of 26, he was said to have no beauty at all, and was even thought to be unsuitable for becoming an actor, the job that often requires good appearance. When compared to a number of attractive male stars, Ru jun -yol was considered not handsome or a little ugly. Since his debut, many netizens have commented negatively on his looks. They remarked on his monolidded eyes, high cheekbones, and thick lips. When he became well known for the drama Reply 1988, Korean netizens even called him Puppy Face Wong or Dog Face Reply 1988. The sad thing is, some celebrities also acknowledged this and decided to pull jokes on Jin Yol. For instance, Han So Hee, the female trainee who created a lot of fuss with TOP, riled up netizens at the start of 2019 when she published a photo of her mouth pouting with a sarcastic caption. I want to imitate Ru jun -yol. Worse, jun -yol's recent film, Lost, had a significant decline in ratings, and netizen said it is due to his poor appearance. Many people stated that if the main actor were someone else, they would likely enjoy the drama in the most pleasant way. Others claimed that, though they didn't try to face shame the actor, jun -yol's face was indeed inappropriate for the drama and the female lead. Without a doubt, the actor's unattractive appearance had a significantly negative impact on his career. Notwithstanding his unappealing appearance, the audience later recognized Jun Yol for his acting ability. Thanks to his role as Kim Jung Kwan in Reply 1988, he won the category of Best New Actor at the Baeksung Arts Awards and Best New Actor at the Asia Artist Awards 2015. He also won Best New Actor at the 2017 Baeksung Arts Awards and the Seoul Awards, and was nominated for Best New Actor at the 2017 Blue Dragon Awards. The success of Reply 1988 also allowed Jun Yol to take on more challenging projects, such as taking part in The King, A Taxi Driver, Believer, and others. From then on, Jun Yol gradually established himself as a box office guarantee. He well demonstrated his versatility, as well as his sharp and refined acting. Each of his performances has its own unique features, yet is very humble and without hue, which is prevalent in many other young actors. Number 2. Lee Kwang Soo Viewers of Korean TV shows and dramas are definitely familiar with the name Lee Kwang Soo. Lee Kwang Soo is a multi talented artist who is both a talented actor and a hard working entertainer who delivers audiences funny moments every week. Because of his international fame, he was even dubbed as Asian Prince. And every time he appeared, he was surrounded by hundreds of thousands of fans. Prior to that, Lee Kwang Soo went through a tough period. He began his career as a fashion model and made his television debut in a commercial for an IT company. However, the actor was merely an unknown picture model at the time. He struggled to find a good path in the Korean entertainment industry due to his unappealing appearance. When Kwang Soo first debuted, many people believed that his look was weird and strange. Even some members of Running Man once commented on him that, becoming ugly day by day, fashion style is getting more and more exaggerated, the nape of his neck is too long, and face becomes crooked and deformed when smiling. However, with all those unique features and a humorous vibe, Kwang Soo gradually captivates the audience's attention and recognition. After gaining notice thanks to his performance in Family is Number One Part Two, Kwang Soo's career peaked when he appeared in the blockbuster reality show Running Man. He made a strong impression on the audience with his hilarious attitude, natural wit, and sassy nature. Lee Kwang Soo's wealth also grew tremendously as his fame grew. He is now the most popular Korean star in China, earning a fortune through advertising and participation in TV shows. Number 3. So In Guk So In Guk is a well-known actor and singer who has been in dramas such as Reply 1997, Squad 38, Doom at Your Service, and others. His unique acting style and the ability to handle a variety of roles have created public faith in his talent. However, few know that in the past, So In Guk went to numerous auditions and was rejected by many recruiters due to his enormous size. During his first audition at JYP Entertainment, So In Guk was advised to come back next time with a healthier weight because he weighed about 86 kilograms at the time. The actor had been driven to lose weight since then, but it was not an easy chore. He constantly pinched his neck to throw up food, which also harmed his larynx. After shredding weight, he returned to JYP Entertainment and auditioned again. This time though, he was told, 
You did well in losing weight, but it seems you did not put much effort into practicing singing. Despite several failures, Inguk did not give up and was determined to keep pushing himself. He finally overcame more than 720,000 candidates and won Korea's first Superstar K competition thanks to his hard work and powerful demeanor. Superstar K has become a good launchpad for Soin Gook to enter the entertainment industry. He immediately published his debut album and gained enormous success, practically dominating many Korean music charts. Following that, In Gook took the lead role in Reply 1997, which generated a fever throughout Korea and received a record high rating. He also sang the theme song, which beat Gangnam Style on various Korean music charts. Despite being a singer who transitioned into acting, So In Gook impressed many people with his talent and earned great success. He bagged home the Outstanding Actor Award at the 2016 NBC Drama Awards for his performance in the drama Shopping King Lewis. After that, In Gook returned to singing and launched several outstanding music products, including I Can't Live Because of You, With Laughter or With Tears, Were We Happy, Tonight We Can Dance, etc. In 2021, In Gook drove the audience insane with his appearance in the film Doom at Your Service, co-starring Park Bo Young. His soft and profound performance of his, when portraying the manner and temperament of a god of death, has contributed to creating a major draw for the drama. Despite having an appearance that is not up to the beauty standards, So In Gook had proven himself through his strength in acting, singing, and composing ability, which has caused him tremendous compassion from the public and is liked by many professionals. Number four, Gong Yu. Gong Yu, the golden actor of South Korea with a mature manly image and ultra attractiveness, will undoubtedly make everyone dizzy. That's why no one could ever imagine that when he first made his debut, Gong Yu was frequently criticized for his mediocre look and was even called ugly. As soon as the drama Prince Coffee Shop was launched, many viewers complain that the male protagonist is so unattractive that they don't want to watch the drama. They claim that Gong Yu did not have the typical gorgeous masculine beauty seen in other male stars. And what ticked people off the most were his single-lidded eyes and an inappropriate hairdo. However, Gong Yu's name still spread throughout Asia, as Prince Coffee Shop received good ratings in Korea, Japan, Malaysia, India, the Philippines, and Thailand. The film even earned him the Best Actor Award at the 2007 NBC Drama Awards. Gong Yu had a breakthrough in 2016, with success in both cinema and drama. Train to Busan was one of Korea's three representatives at the 69th Cannes Film Festival. It sold approximately 5 million tickets in its first week of release, placing 11th among the most successful Korean films in history. Gong Yu's success with Goblin in the second half of 2016 also earned him the Best Actor Award at the 2017 Beksong Art Awards. Following Goblin, Gong Yu was remembered by the public as Goblin Uncle, becoming the perfect model for many admirers. However, due to the success of previous ventures, Gong Yu found it increasingly difficult to overcome his own shadow in order to create a new image. So, these four Korean actors are representative of being successful without a gorgeous appearance. Currently, rather than being debated about their looks, they get people remembering them as being talented and successful artists. Do you know of any more celebrities who were criticized for their appearance but are now incredibly popular? Please let us know in the comments! And if you want more videos like this, like, share, and subscribe to Polydrama. We'll come back soon. See ya!